Welcome to this Career Ready webinar on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a valuable tool in connecting with employers and your chosen industry. This webinar will cover some of the basics, including how to write your summary and headline, and additionally outline some of the other ways in which you can use LinkedIn to complement and maximise your graduate opportunities. A little bit about the career service at La Trobe University. There are a number of elements to the service. We can assist you with careers and employment advice. For example, discussions that might uh, identify some of the career paths and options available to you. We can assist you in preparing your resume, your job application documents, uh, preparing your key selection criteria, and also in um, how to plan and prepare for interviews. We do encourage students to engage with something called the big interview, if you do have an interview coming up, where you can practice your online interview skills. Career Hub is like a portal, I guess, on the uh, careers, uh, or the Latrobe University website. Um, it lists events that are happening around campus that are careers related. Uh, it include, also includes uh, workshops that might be running and you can book appointments uh, that way as well. You can book Zoom and also uh, telephone appointments for careers and uh, employment advice. There is also a, an online job board or search component on Career Hub. So employers reaching out to students uh, will have their positions listed this way and you can search. So I do encourage you to touch base on a regular basis to see what's up there. Um, Employer Connect is a really great website uh, which lists internships and graduate opportunities. And UniTemps is the recruitment agency on campus at Bandura. Um, they have generally local jobs, uh, part-time type of roles, and also uh, some off-campus positions as well. So if you are looking for part-time work, it might be worth uh, registering with them. Career Ready Advantage is the employability program at La Trobe University, so I will touch on this at, at the end of this webinar. Okay, there are a few benefits to LinkedIn. So a lot of students are not aware that they could actually be engaging with LinkedIn even as a student, so in their undergraduate study. 43% of jobs are advertised through LinkedIn, so it is a really great resource to be connected to. Then many jobs don't actually appear on Seek um, and they will be advertised on LinkedIn and companies often will use LinkedIn to search for candidates based on the information um, that might be in a headline or a profile area. So LinkedIn enables you to follow some target organisations. So organisations that you may wish to work for in the future, um, maybe at the forefront of your industry, um, or even just those or whose values and philosophies that you might align to. Um, so it enables you to also get some key information on some of your target organisations so that you're really up to date with things that are happening within them. Um, this sort of information uh, compiled as research might be really great uh, to prepare in a cover letter, for example, to show your knowledge and that you are following that organisation and why you want to work there. It's a really great opportunity to learn from thought leaders in your industry. So those who maybe are well known, um, who regularly post about trends or events or other relevant articles. So a really great way again to show some connectivity. And also to make connections to support your networking activities. For example, if you attend an event, um, you might have a discussion with an employer and you can then send them an invitation to connect through LinkedIn. So a really great way to support those networking um, activities that you are doing. So just in getting started, so a few uh, key areas to be aware of. Use your resume as a starting point in planning and writing your information. So have your resume um, put together, uh, have your local careers team um, give you some guidance around that, uh, and then you can use that as a, ba a basis to start to plan and write your LinkedIn. Think about what your pitch might be. And so what is your headline and what are you trying to say to employers? And think about the types of roles that you might, are looking to attract or appeal, uh, appeal for. So look at advertisements, perhaps in your chosen field on, on current job boards to try and, I guess, get an idea of some of the key skills and the key words that are coming up in those. Um, they can help you to write your headline and your summary and try and show your skills and your alignment through that particular field. So these, these words will um, enable you to show up in searches that an employer might be conducting. So it's important to be careful um, in your planning and put plenty of preparation into these areas. 
So your headline, your headline is, I guess, that small area of information. It's usually a line underneath your name on your LinkedIn. So again, really important um, to put some planning and preparation into the words you use here. So some keywords that such as your skills, where you work, uh, your job title and university course are good suggestions for things to include in your LinkedIn. So examples might be aspiring communication strategists. So something that might allude to the type of work or field you are looking to get into um, or you, your current status in terms of what you're looking for. So actively, actively seeking legal, legal internships. So you might just be looking for an internship opportunity. So use your headline to portray where you're currently at to some degree and the skills that you bring. So your contact details are really important. You need to be uh, accessible to those who are interested in wanting to make contact with you. So use a professional sounding email address. Uh, load a professional photo dressed as you would be to work in the industry. Um, so this doesn't need to be um, something that's professional, or sorry, professionally undertaken. A friend uh, on taking a photo of you on a mobile is quite sufficient. Make sure that you do have, though, a, uh, a plain background and that you are dressed uh, as you would be ready for work. So uh, a suit, uh, et cetera, whatever is appropriate in that particular industry. So again, nothing, uh, nothing from a social or a casual um, type of setting. Use a professional photo only. So compiling a summary, this is an area that, again, a lot of students don't necessarily put enough thought into, and it really is such an important uh, component of your LinkedIn profile. So unlike your resume, which might, be, might include a brief profile or summary, you can include uh, additional information. It can be slightly longer with your LinkedIn. With your LinkedIn, it's a little bit more of a personal flavor or, or tone to the way you're communicating almost a little bit conversational, whereas it m might be a little bit more formal in your resume. So the sort of information you would include in your summary could be your interests and your passion. So what excites you? Um, write in the first person, so you can use the word I, and that is a difference between your LinkedIn and your resume. Again, that more intimate personal style. Avoid grand statements about your passion. So instead, make sure that you're including some evidence. So talk about your experiences. This area, this summary is really a bit about your story. So the things that you've done in the past, um, things that you're, where you're at now, and the things that you want to do in the future. Perhaps include why you've chosen that particular field of study, for example. What is it that excites you about that area? What are some of the things that you want to do in the future? Detail your experience. So it's not just listing where you've worked or where you've had your experiences. It's also including some bullet points as you would in your resume to outline those experiences and include some achievements. Achievements being the thing that you're most proud of and really, I guess, your key areas of impact. So with students or graduates, you can include evidence of activities such as involvement with professional memberships, um, internships or volunteering. So make sure that you do include plenty of information on this section and not have it just as the list of places that you've worked. Organisations and groups. So this is a really um, important area with LinkedIn as well. Search for some organisations that you want to follow. So that be at the forefront in terms of knowledge of things that are currently occurring in those in those organisations, those businesses. Um, think about um, what are the ones that potentially you're wanting to work for in the future. Add them to your profile page. So again, really great way of gathering current information on some of your target companies. Search for groups. So some of these groups you may be able to follow immediately and some you may have to request membership. Again, a great way of connecting with others and those groups might be based on a particular knowledge, a particular knowledge of technology or a particular field. So think about, again, what you're wanting to develop your skills and experience and knowledge in and use that as a basis for selecting some groups. 
Education and volunteer experience are extremely important to put up there. Um, don't end up underestimate the value, um, particularly of your volunteer experiences. They often saying a lot about you, saying a lot about your values and your interests. So please include them. Maybe you've worked for a not for profit, or you've you've done some work in another country, or you've you've worked for some charity organisations. Really uh, great to put some causes that you follow and are interested in. List your skills. So again, this is putting a bit of planning uh, into how you want to be portrayed via your profile. So think of the skills that you have that are relevant to the industry. So consider your transferable skills as well. So they're those ones that you've obtained from part-time work, or you, such as your creative problem solving, uh, leadership collaboration, teamwork, uh, customer service, um, all of those really great skills that you can take to you, take with you um, in your professional career. So list those skills. I would suggest starting off with um, at least five to ten. Um, get a balance of between some of the technical skills and also those transferable skills. And ask your contacts who know your skills to endorse them. So often endorsing others is a really good way to get them to endorse you. So potentially maybe you've done an internship somewhere, um, you've used your particular skills in a particular area, uh, get somebody who's worked with you to endorse you. Uh, include some publications that you may have written as well, really great stuff to have on your LinkedIn. And as we, we say when we're giving advice to students on all aspects of their jobs application documentation, don't forget to check your profile for spelling or grammar. So again, it says more than just your skills in those areas, it says a lot about your attention to, de to detail. So don't forget to check your page. So in maximising your profile, LinkedIn has five profile strengths and they actually grow as you uh, put more information up on your site. So as you're gathering experiences and connections and recommendations and that you're putting summaries up there and all of those uh, components that make up a LinkedIn profile, your profile strength should be increasing. So the profile strengths are beginner, uh, which is less than 50% complete, intermediate at 50%, advanced would be at 75%, expert at 90 and when you have a complete profile uh, you would be classed at all star. So try to build your profile as you go and make sure that you have some of the really key areas that will actually let your profile down. So that's things like your photo, uh, that's things like your summary and your headline in particular. Beware of things like connection etiquette. It's very, very easy to click a button to connect with some of the suggestions that LinkedIn pops up on your screen. So ideally, with some of these connections, create a purpose for those. Um, so invite them to coffee or to chat about working in the industry and those sorts of things. Don't just always click on the connection invite and, and do, the, do that uh, process of connection very simply. So an extra touch, particularly with some of those uh, connections or potential connections who you feel could be particularly relevant to, to your industry or your, your job seeking activities, maybe find a slightly different way to connect in with them. Check your visibility and security settings. So to just enable that um, you are able to be found um, by those who are looking for you and the information within your profile is enabling them to search for you under particular uh, keywords and, and relevant words that you might have, uh, as I said, uh, discovered through your research on, on jobs up on Seek, for example. So make sure that you are using uh, some wording that will enable you to be readily found in your profile and your summary area, headline and summary area. When you are maximising your profile and working on that and building, uh, putting some additional information, make sure that you do turn your notifications off uh, just so that uh, your followers or your connections don't receive constant notifications. If you're an alumni, um, you can use LinkedIn to research where students who may have completed similar courses or your course have actually ended up working. And that is a really great uh, way of using LinkedIn as a research tool. So, in getting that information and finding out where they've been working, that tells you that these organisations have hired graduates from your course. So again, that might be great information to feed into your own uh, list of target organisations. 
be an active contributor by contributing to discussions on others' posts and sharing your own. Uh, it helps to build your profile. It helps to reflect that you are someone keen to learn and keen to contribute in that industry. So a really great activity to be in. Um, be mindful, though, of your language and the content of your responses and posts as well. There's a lot of information um, on building LinkedIn profiles. Uh, we just put a LinkedIn learning, for, so learning LinkedIn for students course that is available as well. But there is a plenty of information up on the web uh, as to how to build your profile and so on. So if you are interested in knowing more, uh, please, I do encourage you to go and do some further learning on how to uh, write an effective LinkedIn profile. So just some information on Career Ready Advantage Award. So that this is the career uh, employability program that we designed um, based on some research which was conducted a few years ago. It really came up with um, some areas that employers were looking at in terms of graduate skills and attributes. So this program is designed to build your skills and your employability across a range of learning and practical activities. So it, it will help you to better articulate your career story to an employer. So there's three core areas of learning. So for example, with LinkedIn Learning um, and La Trobe Online modules, you can complete a number of activities um, to count towards the professional learning component of the award. With practical experience, you're getting some um, on the job experience, whether that's volunteering, paid employment, or even employability focused subjects that are in your course. Um, and there's a number of additional activities uh, beyond that as well that will count as practical experiences. So part-time work, for example, would count as a practical experience. With a career portfolio, this is the component of the award where you are learning to articulate your career story and communicate your skills and experience in a much more effective way to employers. So, for example, learning how to write a winning resume, handle the job interview, plan your career, um, put together your LinkedIn um, and a lot of other activities. So I encourage you to engage with this program. It will en enable you to stand apart from others uh, in terms of your employability skills. There was a lot of information on the LMS as to the activities that count under each areas of the award. Um, you basically will un uh, undertake the activities, upload some evidence, um, and we will assess that against the list of activities. So you can you work initially towards the silver level award, complete some additional activities towards gold, and then some additional beyond that uh, to achieve the platinum level of the award. So I really do encourage you to um, undertake the Career Ready Advantage Award in building your employability skills. Just as a reminder though, viewing this webinar counts as one activity under professional learning and putting to your LinkedIn profile, as I mentioned, does count as one activity under the career portfolio. Um, so you just need to record the completion of the activity of, of your link, uh, upload your link and we will assess that against the career portfolio component activity. So thank you very much for viewing this webinar. I hope that it has been useful in getting a start on a LinkedIn profile. Please be encouraged to uh, get further advice from your local careers team and we look forward to assisting you in the future. Thank you.